My name is Natasha Stoinoff. In 2005, I went to interview Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. At one point, Melania went upstairs to change her clothes for the next photo shoot. And Trump said to me, I want to show you this beautiful painting, this beautiful room. He leads me to this room, pushes me against the wall, and starts kissing me forcefully. I tried to push him kept coming back at me. I was in shock and smothered and he had his hands here against my shoulders. I felt sick inside. I felt horrified and thank goodness the butler charges into the room. Like many women, I blamed myself. So Trump turned to me and said, you know we're going to the fair, don't you? And Melani was approaching. I was horrified. When the Access Hollywood tape came out and also stories of many other women, including E. Jean Carroll, I realized I was not to blame, that he was just a predator of women, what could have happened if the butler had not come into the room. Donald Trump is an adjudicated sexual assaulter. We cannot elect this man as president. Anti-Psychopath Pack Inc. is responsible for the content of this. 1979, I had gotten on an airplane. The stewardess said to me, would you like to come up to first class? In the window seat was a gentleman who said that his name was Donald Trump. The airplane took off and all of a sudden Donald Trump started groping me. He was trying to kiss me and I'm trying to push him away. He, he was basically overpowering me. When he started putting his hand up my skirt, I got out of the seat, grabbed my purse and went back to my original seat. And I certainly was shook up by the whole thing. Two years later, at this fundraiser, up comes Trump and his wife. And he looked at me and he said, I remember you. You're that cunt from the airplane. Donald Trump views women as for his entertainment. He is a serial predator. He has said it point blank. And he's done it, and he will continue to do it. Anti Psychopath Pack Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertisement.